I tuck together. <coughs> oh, that's not together. Together. <laughs> The F's not together, the E-flat's not together. Attention, you must listen more. We're in a strange acoustic here. It's different from Carnegie Hall. This is good and that's good, but it's different. Beginning, attack. You're dragging. Keep with the conductor, please. Number one. shop like Brass instruments, forte piano. Mark it, please. Otherwise, we don't hear the violins. Please mark it. Mark it again. It's already marked, but mark it better. Right, that's number four. Brass is only number four. Brass. No, no. Piano. Piano. Down more. That's it. Make like pianissimo. All right, four. The best a composer can do when within him he hears in his soul a great melody, we'll say, is to put it on paper. But that paper, we call it music, but that's not music, that's only paper. It's blank marks on paper. Somehow, it's our privilege and our necessity to try to realize what was in the soul of the composer, in his inner eye, uh, hearing, and to make that alive again. No, we're not together, cello bass. Watch conductor, please. You can memorize each bar. Number five. Not merely black marks on the white paper, but the expression and the creative ideas which the composer had. This is very difficult. Some believe that one should merely mechanically reproduce the marks on the paper. Others think that one must go much farther than that to try to find what the composer heard in his soul. Because our duty is to give to the listeners that inspiration that the composer had.
Letter A, all brass instruments for the piano. Mark it, please. And a soft piano. Brass is, in this hall, it's better to play under. Play softer, quieter, easier. Letter A, yes. Uh, do you have an alto trombone? Do you have one? Could we use it in this? I, I think it has another quality of tone. All right, A. Subito piano, everybody. That's careless. You know better. You're good players, you're good musicians, you're intelligent, and you can read. Do it, please, when it's for the piano. Please do it. Two bars before eight. One first violin, still too strong on the F sharp. Two bars, same. before 20. Watch that, D. Tenuto. Camera. No, oh, camera. Start with camera. Three deaths. Then more come in. Ad libitum. You know when to come in by instinct. Presto. Presto. Come on, more, more, come on, come on, more. Hey. Come on, feel it. Presto. Now begin. Come on. There never has been anyone quite like Leopold Stokowski. For years, he has been seen and heard by millions of concert goers. For years, he has championed modern music improved standards of orchestral playing and kept music glamorous and exciting. At 88, he is less flamboyant, less theatrical than in years gone by, but he still has the old Stokowski gift for keeping busy and planning for the future. He still has the old master's touch. Even in the twilight of his career, there is a certain Olympian magnificence about Leopold Stokowski.